Hi there, my name's Ed and I'm a tea head and today we're doing something very exciting. We're trying a tea. So I've never tried this tea before. Um, this is a raw pu'er. I'm a big fan of pu'er, probably my um, favourite type of tea. And yeah, we're just gonna see what this tea is like. So this tea is from Green Tea Guru and this is how um, you will receive this tea if you buy it in the 50 gram portion. You get a bit of um, a tea cake and then you get it in this, in this little bag. So this is the 2015 Misty Peak Raw Pu'er Cake. Very exciting stuff. I'm a little bit tired so I'm just going to jump straight in um, and we can have a little chat about Pu'er. So this is 100, 100 degree water or as, um, as close to that as I can get it. Just gonna warm up our guy one quickly. So it's very it's a very exciting thing to be able to try a tea because there are so many teas out there and it is every tea head's mission to try and try as many teas as possible. So it's always a treat when you get to do it. So I've got five grams here and a hundred mil guy one. Give it a bit of a, a bit of a smell. Mmm, that was really nice. So when it comes to when it comes to tea, everyone's taste is personal. Every, everybody likes different things. Um, so what I say about this tea shouldn't really influence you uh, in particular because this is just me. It's my personal opinion. Um, but yeah, so far, so far, so good. That's just sort of a bit of a disclaimer, let's say. Um, let's go in for a, a tea rinse. It's definitely long enough. Probably overdoing it now. So unfortunately, I don't have a tea pick, um, so I just had to prise the prise the, um, the sort of tea leaves off the off the cake. So that may have um, broken up some of the leaves somewhat. Wow. A really fascinating aroma. I'm getting a bit too much steam though. Quite fruity, quite a sweet aroma. Um, yeah, it feels quite fresh. Um, yeah, I'm not good. I'm not good at describing um, aroma or flavour profiles. So, apologies for that. I can't really, I can't really transport you to where I am right now. Um, so yeah, we're brewing in a porcelain or well, glazed porcelain guy one. Um, to ensure, well, so I get the kind of best, the best picture of what this tea is actually like, um, because when you're brewing clay, you get a bit of a, a different, um, or you get some kind of influence on the flavour from the clay. So this is kind of a pure, a pure taste, a taste test, let's say. Uh, yeah, I'm good. Never mind, we're not good apparently. I like to brew in a glass gondel base so I can have a look at the look at the tea liquor. You can see lots of little particles in there as well, that's a good sign. Mm. Really clean, quite fresh, quite light as a as as far as 
uh, Pilsner. It's really hot though. <laughs> Quite sort of silky. I'm looking for any signs of um, kind of miner like a minerality reaction in my in my sort of in the sides of my mouth or my tongue. Not getting too much. But it is it just is just the first cup, so that's um, I mean there's far more opportunity for for that to arise. So this tea is a, a Yi Wu Pua from, I think it's 400 year old ancient arbor tea trees. Um, that's about as much as I know about this tea. Haven't gone extensive on the research this time. Um, the leaves are looking a little bit stemmy, let's say. Um, but overall those leaves look pretty good. So I'll be trying another one of um, green, the green tea guru teas um, in my next video. In fact, I have one here. Let me just decide so I can say for certain now. Next time I will be trying the Nan Tian. 702 aromatic pua. I'll put a link in the description for that if you would like to go and buy that tea and then we then we can taste it together. Um, so far I'm really enjoying this tea. And why do people love pua so much? That's a good question. Um, thanks for asking Ed. I mean pua for me has lots of different elements of um, kind of interest, let's say. I'm in no particular order. Um, firstly, you can generally brew a pu'er tea um, loads of times. <laughs> uh, you can know, you can get sort of upwards of ten infusions on a pu'er, um, which means you get to spend a lot of time with tea. And it's not going to go, you know, it's not going to go astringent like a green tea. Um, so that's one of the benefits for me. You get to sit, you get to sit for a long time drinking tea. Um, another thing is the, again, the physical effect. So the, the way it makes your mouth feel, the way it makes your um, whole body feel as well. So you get um, with pu'er because of its sort of really intense minera minerality you can get um, kind of a tingling in your mouth and you can also get what um, what is called a, a, a hui gan um, in Chinese, which is a, a bitterness in the tea that turns, that turns to sweetness. So um, just in your mouth. So you're kind of experiencing a bit of a bitterness and then it kind of changes in, within your mouth into, into, into this sweetness. Um, it's, I mean, it's kind of fascinating kind of to experience that. I have a bit of like OCD about um, getting leaves on my lid. Um, right, second infusion. Second infusion is usually the, um, the king of infusions, let's say, the most kind of, because um, the first one can be a little bit weak. So the second one is, is, is rich and full bodied and it hasn't, the tea probably hasn't changed that much. So it's kind of the, yeah, the king, the king infusion. Mm, wow. I'm getting much more minerality this time. Mm. More bitterness, more astringency, but that, in, in a pu'e you actually want astringency because, and that bitterness because it changes into that sweetness. Mm. So no, another reason, that you might like uh, to drink pu'er over other teas, um, and this isn't exclu this isn't exclusive to pu'er teas, but um, 
the kind of energy that it gives you, the kind of feeling in your body that you get from a pueti is sort of renowned let's say, uh, in, 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 in the kind of tea appreciation industry or culture. It's probably because you drink quite a lot of the tea, um, but particularly because, because it's a fermented tea, it's quite a potent um, leaf once it's brewed. So you can get a real um, kind of feeling of tea, being tea high or tea drunk, mixed with a kind of, you know, energy. Um, so, yeah, it's, a, it's, it's kind of like a multi-dimensional tea, and it's a really interesting tea in terms of a, a tea type, pu'er tea, um, particularly raw pu'er pu pu tea, in my opinion. Um, so, yeah, that's why you might want to drink pu'er tea over other teas. I'm just uh, just experiencing the tea. I mean, it's just a just a pleasant tea all round. I think, um, and obviously, to be able to experience it yourself, you'll go and have to you'll have to go and buy it because I'm not a literary or sensory genius as far as things go i'm a bit of a tea amateur so i probably can't distinguish uh, the tastes as well as some people may be able to so this is what the the wet leaf is looking like at this point i'll be doing many more infusions of this tea but that was just giving you a little um, a review, I guess, um, of this uh, tea tasting, this Misty Peak Raw Pua Cake from Green Tea Guru. So thank you very much. Have a good one.